back to our YouTube channel, The Informant. If you are new to this channel, let me just remind you that we make videos related to online services, education, placement drives and many more. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do hit the red button so that you get latest notifications first on your screen. So as you all know, today we are back with a new video that is Accenture Stream Allotment Procedure and Stream Training Experience. So if you have, if you guys have followed our videos till now, so we have done each and every video of Accenture from the recruitment process to the stream to the a primer assessment and the primer assessment experience, each and everything we have covered all the topics. So what after primer experience assessment? So example, you have cleared the primer assessment now. So what next? So next is the stream allotment and the stream training. So in this video, we'll be discussing completely each and everything related to stream training, that how your stream will get allotted what after getting allotted so what will be that ex uh, duration of the uh, stream training how much mcqs you will be having it depends on the batches for uh, october november december so each batch will be discussing that and what is the eligibility criteria to clear the stream training each and everything so what after st stream training how will you get your project mail so we'll be discussing each and everything so please stay tuned till the end so that you don't miss any important update so let's start our today's video First of all, as I told, we'll be discussing about stream allotment procedure, right? So how will the stream allotment happen? So for example, you have joined Accenture and uh, example, assume that you're joining it was 1st of December, right? Okay. So you'll be having your LKM and NJX sessions like for the first and second week of the joining period. Then after that, you'll be getting mail for primer assessments. You should write your primer assessment offline. You might know that. So you'll be getting mail for primer assessment. So as soon as you write your primer assessment within a day or two, suddenly you'll get a mail like give preference for the streams. So be careful. Once you get this mail, leave all your work and just open the link and just give the, uh, uh, just give the options as soon as possible. Don't delay. Don't call anyone. Don't ask anyone. Just keep in your mind. I'll be giving you an idea like what are the streams available so you can see for example and you have to give it accurately you have to give it very quickly so this is the mistake many of, of them made they, like the, they give time for like one and a half hour or one hour so they're like we can fill till last so this was not the case it was like first come first serve I'll not say it depends 100% upon that itself that you'll be getting that but at least 50% they will be considering the ones who have submitted first so they'll give, be giving the priority for the ones who have submitted first. So you must keep this in mind and you must not delay it. As soon as you get the link, leave all your work, open the link, just give the stream preference 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like you, you should arrange it. They'll be giving, for example, if you are from Bangalore location, they'll give you more number of options. If you are from Mumbai, Delhi, you'll be having less number of options to give streams. For example, they have given you 10 options to select the stream you must rearrange it like in watch which order you would prefer you cannot give only one or two or three options you must give all the 10 options just rearrange it according to your priority so i hope this is clear so the main point over here is be be quick just be quick don't think for each and every stream like i should place it top or bottom it doesn't matter at end the, what matters is top four so top four if you are confirmed like you need this top four set the top four as priority then rest six give anything you want and just click submit because this will matter a lot while you, your stream allotment and as you know stream will be will be a, a x factor in your accenture career so the stream once you get in your stream training that will go on into your into your entire life maybe who knows like this is the foundation right so you must get your stream right so it completely depends upon your accuracy and at last luck also so next is Next is business requirements. For example, I have seen few candidates who have given options very quickly, like they have given Java, C++, .NET at first top three, but still they have not got. So if business requirements are not much, they'll be going to the next options. At last, it completely depends upon luck. So I have seen students who have passed out from CSC, IS, and all other circuit branches, and they have got like non-circuit uh, branches streams like SAP majority of them have got SAP, BW, SAP, MM, SAP, SD and many other streams like I'm not saying those streams are not good every each stream has its own scope but still the CS and the IT students prefer coding streams 
so for them like they're like they're not satisfied so and where, where on the other hand the mechanical students who had given stream preference very quickly so they had got java.net so at the end it completely depends upon luck but what the best you can do is just give the option entry very quickly that that is the best you can do so i hope you understood about this stream allotment procedure so let's move to the next slide that is stream training experience so so now coming to the stream training experience so as i said after you give your preference you will get a mail in two to three days or might be maximum a week okay so you are allotted to so and so stream so first, first thing they'll be giving you the stream which you have allotted and the location of the stream for example for lkm and ngx you are in some building or of the some location of accenture so it might not be same for the stream training so it might differ okay it might be in the same city premises but it might be different building so it depends upon the stream which you get so first of all you must uh, you'll get the stream and the location and the next is you will be getting that your stream training is virtual or physical so majority majority of the non coding streams they are, they are getting virtual training okay and streams which are a little bit tough like java dotnet and all like which has coding they are getting physical trainer like teacher comes and teach you same like your college or school so they teach you but it's like in corporate life you cannot depend on any other you need to do self learning so just like you'll be having a physical trainer who can solve your doubts than virtual trainer it will be a little bit tough so i'm not saying that they'll not solve but at the end as i said it completely depends upon you they'll be giving you modules they'll be giving you access to a web website so there you need to watch the videos you need to give the demo test you need to prepare for yourself itself no one will like come and guide you so this is the thing next is mcq pattern so many of them had doubt because accenture is changing the mcq pattern for each and every month for example the september recruited students 2020 to september recruited students they had a pattern of one primer exam four mcqs each mcq of 20 marks okay and this they had within a period of 6 months whereas the october students they had only one month training only two mcqs and that to one mcq of 40 marks so you can see it completely depends on business requirements if they have more requirements if they need you like bit soon they they can reduce the amount of training so the one month student one month training students like it will be really fast for you guys it will be very tough to understand the concept because they'll be covering like each and every topic within one two three days it the topic which requires training of like one week two week they'll be doing it in one or two days so you can imagine what will be the pace so this is the thing mcq pattern will be changing and what i heard is for november batch also they are doing again six months so as you can see it completely depends so you must be prepared for both six months and one month also okay whereas the six month batch students they have after they have completed like one or two mcqs they are simultaneously allotted to projects as well okay so they are doing like two days training so four days project so they are like switching it next thing is i have got many questions in the comment section that what is this the asa 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 we they have they had informed us about the mcq now they have added is something new called asa so what is this so i'll be telling you regarding this asa so see asa is nothing but mcq 1 2 and primers will be of certain syllabus okay primers will be different mcq 1 will be half of your modules mcq 2 will be half of your another remaining half so asa is completely grouped together of the stream training not primers of the stream training from starting to end of the syllabus you will be having like 20 for 20 marks 10 marks for mcq and 10 marks for viva so yeah they will take a viva a trainer or someone from accenture higher authorities will come and they will take viva for you and they will give you out of 10 marks and rest 10 marks is mcq that is scenario based question you will get to know when you go into your respective streams last is the eligibility how to clear the stream training so we'll be discussing this in detail stay tuned so as you can see here eligibility criteria to clear this stream training so this is very important so first of all you'll be excited that you got into accenture then you'll realize that still you're not at the permanent employee you can be terminated anytime like this fear will be there at corporate at any situation 
but still at initial stages you'll fear a lot so this is what you need to do to get a permanent employment from accenture so that they cannot remove you for any invalid reasons so first of all mcq second is asa so after you clear your primer exams so primer also plays an important part for example for i'll first i'll speak about the october batch students okay for october batch they had one primer exam one mcq1 and mcq2 mcq1 was for 40 marks 40 questions mcq2 was also 40 questions so they added primer marks mcq1 marks mcq2 marks and they have took average and there you must if you get 60 percent or more you are passed for mcq section whereas for the september batch they had primers plus MCQ divided into four sections of 20 marks each. MCQ 1, 2, 3, 4 for 20, 20, 20 marks. And the average of this you must get 60%. So I hope you got. So basically, primers plus MCQ, you must get 60% average. Okay. Next, coming to ASA, ASA will be a separate. Okay. MCQ 1 and MCQ 2 will be separate. Primers will be separate. ASA will be separate. So they will take average of primers MCQ 1 and MCQ 2. For ASA, they will not include in that primers and MCQ. It will be separate. Example, you scored 60% in MCQ and if you did not score 60% in ASA, this, then you must give retest for ASA. Same applies for MCQ also. If you cleared ASA and if you did not clear MCQ, then you must take separate retest for MCQ. If you didn't clear both, then you must give two retests for both ASA and MCQ. So I hope you understood. This might be a little tricky, but you'll understand, I know. So if you guys have any doubts of regarding this eligibility criteria, you can reach out in the comment section. I'll clear all your doubts. Okay. As you can see in this note part also, ASA and MCQ are separate. Okay. You must score 60% in both. Else state retest separate for both MCQ and ASA. Okay. There will be two retests if you fail the first one. As you know, Accenture gives you three attempts to clear this. Also, there will be two retests. So I don't know if you don't clear these two they might be termination or they might be stream change depends upon the company so this is the case of the eligibility criteria i hope it's clear for you so coming to this uh, streams like many of the students did not understand like which streams are from coding and non-coding how to choose so few of the streams which we i had uh, like uh, i got to know which accenture is providing now is like for coding they are giving like java dot net sap abap so ABAP also is coding. Don't think like SAP and uh, give it as non-coding -stre non stream. No, SAP, ABAP is like development itself. So ABAP is the SAP's own programming language. So SAP, ABAP, then C++, front-end, back-end development. These things will have coding as you know. So non-coding streams which SAP is giving, uh, which uh, sorry Accenture is giving now is SAP SD, SAP BW. Sales and Distribution SD, BW is Business Warehouse, SAP MM is Material Management. Then they are offering cloud related streams also from the November batch like AWS, Azure and Google Cloud Platform, GCP. And also few of the security streams also they are providing. They are giving you option to select security. There will be a minimal coding in this cloud and security. So I, I, I know you can manage this. So these are the few coding and non-coding streams. I, I hope you guys are clear till now so this was all about our today's video i know video is a little bit lengthy but i had to give this each and every detailed information so that you can understand you can all your doubts get cleared still if you guys have any doubts please drop down in the comment section and i request you all to share this video as much as possible and support us as much as possible so that we can give get you more informative content like this we also stay motivated when you share our video, when you comment and when you like. So please do that. It feels good. Okay. So thank you for watching this today today's video guys. I hope you all stay healthy and meet you soon. Mm -hmm.